Go to your browser again. I'm going to show you Array Express. I'm going to show you the European version of uh, Geo. So just type in Array Express. You can, you know, obviously it'd probably be a good idea to bookmark some of these things. You will be using it. Array Express is cool. Not only can we search for particular studies, but there's another function of this where you can actually search for genes. So I can tell this thing, find me all those studies where, say, gene A was overexpressed by more than five times. And it'll do that. And I do that all the time, actually. You know, if I discover a gene that's associated with, say, cancer, I might see where, where other studies it was differentially expressed in. If a bunch of other cancer studies start popping up, that means I'm probably onto something, you know? Or if a bunch of immune stuff should start showing up, I'm like, oh, maybe that's what it is. Maybe this is a more of an immune function. Okay. So in Array Express, you know, you can basically search it the same way. Let's put in our accession number. So go G S E two seven zero eight seven. I think I've memorized it by now. Hit return. Okay. So here is the entry, and you can see that the, the Europeans did a lot better. It's just very easy to download the process, the raw, whatever you want. Let's open up that entry. So under accession number, you'll see the E G E O D 27087. Click on that. And you'll notice it gives pretty much the same information as Geo does. Here is the big different difference right here, this stuff. It's much easier to download all of this information associated with a study than it is in Geo. In Geo, you, you click on a link, and then you go to a compressed file, and then you got to get into that file, and then you download it, and then everything's compressed, and then you got to uncompress it when you get it. It's, it sucks. So <laughs> we're going to use this one to download our sample data. So again, you can download anything you want. I'm just going to show you what's available to you here. We got investigation description. You could just, just test text basically describing the experiment. This is the one we're going to want is sample and data relationships. So this is going to be the key that connects all those identifiers to all those variables in this study. Uh, you can also do the raw data. So this would, this would be the uh, cell files process data, um, this is the design, and then if you're using R, does anybody here use R? No? A little bit? Yeah? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't either, so. <laughs> so I never click on that one. All right, let's click on sample and data relationships. Is, uh, is your other stuff still downloading? The annotation file, is it done? It's done? Okay, good. So if it's done, you can just click OK or whatever. And then save your file for sure. OK. So here what we're going to do is we're going to download this sample and data relationships. Oh, I'm sorry. I always do that. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to right click and save link as something. OK, I am going to save this to my desktop. And I think I've already downloaded this, so I'm going to make this like a two. Okay, let's save. Just put it somewhere where you know it, where you can find it. Probably in that folder that you created that you're storing all this data. 